Hello and welcome to Something by Hannah. Thank you for joining me on Make It Monday. Um, today I thought I would share this card with you and the reason I'm sharing this card with you this week um, is because this card, get the right word Han, uses the Sweet Cupcake stamp set. Now this is the stamp set that's in my um, current online card class and before I made this card I thought I would share with you exactly what you get when you sign up for one of my card classes so you, this time you will get this stamp and die bundle along with um, a brand new reel see mine is used um, of the macaron sheer linen ribbon that is just stunningly gorgeous love that um, and there is always product in my classes. So it, last month it was the Beautiful You stamp set. Also, <clears throat> fortnight ago it was the Beautiful You stamp set and um, you got the watercolour pencil. So there's always there's always product. Um, but that product will vary from fortnight to fortnight. So this time you've got the Sweet Cupcake Bundle and the Linen Ribbon. Because this class costs a smidge over £45, you get to choose something out of the Celebration catalogue as well to take home with you. Um, I am absolutely in love with this stamp set <laughs> i cannot get enough of this and i think this will be gorgeous paired with this, those cupcakes but there's loads of stuff in here that you can choose for free this one hasn't found its way home with me yet but i think that might be the next one i have to get it's just so pretty so you get that if you want a copy of the catalogues in with your um class kit just let me know I can pop them in the post to you as well and then you get your um your card main kit so all my classes come with enough supplies to make six cards um this time we have got um one with a whisper white card base one with an indigo and one with sweet sugar plum and they would be the um there would be three inks I would recommend with for this class and that would be an indigo sweet sugar plum and mint macaron um if you don't have them and you want to add them onto your class order that's absolutely fine just let me know when you sign up for class um i will put make sure the link is in the down bar below um and um i can add it on to your class order um all class all classes are paid for via paypal and i send you a paypal invoice out um you don't need a paypal account to do that um you literally just click on the link and pay with a debit or credit card so that is my class for this. I, I do two classes a month. So um, this is the class for the second half of January. So shall we get on with making a card? Because we're already three minutes in and I'm waffled. So we are going to make this fabulous card today. And I need my watercolour pencils. I am filming a heap of videos today and I've prepped everything on the other side of the room as usual. And I've managed to leave my watercolour pencils behind. You could expect lots of videos with watercolour pencils. <laughs> we need two colours for this video and a blender pen. So we've got um, the brown, which I believe is, yeah, is early espresso, and the pink, which is mint. Um, Melon Mambo, I've got mint macaron on the brain now. This is how I store my watercolour pencils, by the way, in one of our clear cases. It's just really handy, and I get my blender pen in there as well. I'm sure I could probably fit an aqua painter in there too, um, but I use my aqua painters for everything, so they have a, they they don't tend to live in there. But my, I've got a blender pen that lives in there. So this is our card for today. I've also got um, a piece of um, scrap paper because we're going to stamp off. I have done a little bit of pre prep um, because I. Oh, getting the big shot out is a bit of a nuisance for filming. So I've already used... I thought there was something at the door. It's my cat climbing in and out of a shopping bag. <laughs> I've got a load of stuff ready to donate in the hallway. And she's just in and out of it, in and out of it all the time. So I don't know if you could hear that at all. But anyway, so I've already um, embossed <laughs> this piece of Whisper White. This video is going really well, isn't it? With this fabulous embossing powder. That I can't remember what it's called, but it will be linked in the description in the down bar below. Um, because you don't need to see that. And that's going to mount up on there just lovely and go onto our card base. I've also then already die cut um, a, a circle from watercolour paper and a scallop circle from early espresso cardstock. Um, and they're going to sit on our card like that. She is making a mess out there, I think. 
So there are only three stamps that we need for this card. Although this stamp set does do kind of layered stamping, it's beautiful when you layer it up properly. I'm cheating today. I am, I'm cheating. So let's stamp the base of our cupcake first. I've got early espresso ink. And I'm going to ink that up, um, the base of the cupcake up, and I'm going to stamp it off twice. And then I'm going to stamp that straight down onto our watercolour paper. So it's really, it's quite faint actually. And then we're going to do exactly the same with the top of our cupcake in Melon Mambo. So I'm going to stamp that, ink that up. And I don't know if you can tell, I've used a much bigger block than I would normally use for this stamp. And the reason is that it means I can then see exactly where where I'm going with my with the top of my cupcake to layer it properly. So there we go. And that's really faint as well. But really cute. I mean, I think that's cute just as is, to be honest. <laughs> You could layer that lovely and it would be gorgeous. So, take my scrap paper out of the way. And then I've got my two um, watercolour pencils and my blender pen. And I'm going to add the detail back in. So, I'm going to go along the top with my blend with my watercolour pencils. And I on my this version, I've used watercolour paper because on this one, I've used... Um, an aqua painter to get a similar effect and I'm going to try a blender pen and see what the difference is so adding the lines of my cupcake case back in there and then I'm going to add some detail like this because obviously this cupcake top has been uh, piped so I'm going to add some extra detail on like that I'll take my blender pen I love my blender pens, isn't they? Fabulous. And we're just going to just get that ink moving. And the easiest way to do it is to swirl your blender pen. Um, the watercolour pencils obviously work with your aqua painters and they're fabulous with your aqua painters. But they do also work really, really well with a blender pen. And actually, this is blending out much better, much, much better and more easily than it did with the aqua painter. Isn't that weird? <laughs> so, I'm going to just... Easiest way to clean your blender pen, just swirl it off onto a piece of scrap paper and then you can go on with a different colour. So I'm going to turn my watercolour paper around and I'm going to do exactly the same over the top where I've put that um, watercolour pencil with my blender pen. And it spreads the colour out a bit as well because the thing with the, because they're layering stamps, they're designed to be layered up, so they're a little bit blotchy, which is lovely when you're layering them on the top of each other. And I've, I've missed a stamp off. There is a fabulous little dotty stamp, <coughs> excuse me, in this stamp set. Isn't that really cute? Um, and it's great for adding little bits of detail on. So I'm going to take my Melon Mambo ink again, and I'm going to add some dots just like sprinkles on the top of my cupcake just like so and then I also need my early espresso back again to add the sentiment and this says you're the icing on my cupcake which is just so sweet so I think I think the reason I've chosen this stamp this is I do love this stamp set, but one of the reasons I've chosen it is because I am off cake at the moment. Because it's January, how's everybody else's New Year's resolutions going? Mine aren't going too badly. I've been going, I'm going a week. I know that we're now, what, three weeks into the New Year? Um, but my New Year's resolution don't start till after my birthday. And then I had a girly weekend away. And my diet wasn't starting then either. So, I'm going to pop this onto my scallop circle so yeah my, my diet only started on monday last week so we are a week in today as this video is, goes up and i'm filming it this video what is for you yesterday because um, <laughs> that's just how i'm rolling at the moment everything's just a little bit last minute i, I hate working last minute i really do um but things just keep happening <laughs> i've got 
Um, I've been signed up by my lovely boss for a course that's taking a lot of time. Uh, my husband, my gorgeous James, is currently um, he's a student nurse and he's on placement at the moment. So if I get if I get a day off and he's off, I'm sort of taking the day off with him, which is a not no, he's really naughty. It's really really naughty, and I should I should be dedicating more time to stamping and my business and you guys. But I'm sure you understand that. I need days with my husband, <laughs> but they don't happen very often. So I'm going to add some dimensionals onto the back of this circle. And let's just get it the right way around. I'm going to add them like that. No, that's the wrong way around. I'll take that one back off again. But you do have a little bit of time with dimensionals, whether you don't push them down too hard. Because this edge is, we're going to chop this edge off because it's going to stick off the edge of our card. And this would be really cute. You could, you could add ribbon or some swirls of thread or something at this point, and that look really, really cute. Um, I'm going to stick that down there like that. And then we've got this hang edge. And this one, no, that was bottom. Yeah. Um, and we're just going to turn your card over and cut that off as straight as you can which is always always an interesting always interesting there we go and um, so that is my card for make it monday thank you so much for joining me today you have until friday i want to say friday i can't what the date is today um you have until the 28th to get this to sign up for this class 